Hey Aries, it's Goddess Puff and I'm not home right now, but the show must go on. So let's get started with an Oracle card message for Aries. What is going on with my Aries at this very moment in time? What does Aries need to know? Alrighty, let's see. And don't forget to give me a like, comment, subscribe, or share if you enjoy this reading. All right, we have Crow, Sovereignty. So I feel like you're in solitude right now. You could be at home just sipping on whatever <laughs> and just enjoying this um, peace and quiet. Goat, Potency. Wolf, Communication. And overall energy is Newt, Urgency. Okay. So someone's blowing up your phone. They want to get your attention now. Um, yeah, it's like they're come. they want to get, bring some energy out of you, like to be prepared. Like they want you to rush over now. They're like trying to bring this like headstrong energy out of you. You are Aries and they, they see that you have that potential, that energy to just rush over and get something done or get all like tensed up pretty much. But you're at peace right now with Crow Sovereignty. You don't want to be in this energy. You're you're relaxed right now. But someone's giving you like messages or sending off some type of communication to you. Trying try to make you act now is what I'm getting. Like right now you're at home in your robe, winding down, chilling. Let's get into the tarot and see how this connects to the reading for Aries. A message for Aries. What does Aries need to know? I feel like at any moment you could hop up and be ready to go, but I feel like someone's trying to bring that out of you on purpose. All right, we have the Eight of Swords. Yeah, someone's trying to make you anxious, trying to make you overthink, trying to put you on edge. The devil, Capricorn, fear, addiction, enslavement. They're trying to enslave you to a knee-jerk reaction. Because like I said, you could be on go just like that. You can go from zero to 100. One minute, you're at home, chilling, sipping. Next minute, you're fully clothed, ready to fight, running outside. Like, this person wants you to be anxious. Four of Wands, a strong foundation, grounded. They don't want you to feel grounded. They don't want you to feel like you have a strong foundation. They want you to just, I feel like... Also, when it comes to work, you're extremely hardworking. I feel like you're anxious about work and you don't need to be. I feel like you obsess over work, obsess over your home, and you have no reason to with that devil card energy come, coming out. You are the hardest worker at your job. No one works harder than you. I also feel like a Capricorn could be involved, but there's someone here who's clearly trying to put fear in your heart about your stability um, when it comes to your home and work. We have the Ace of Swords, the truth. You have a strong foundation. Again, you're the hardest worker and everybody knows it. They know that your potential is endless. Over on Jesus, Six of Pentacles, equal give and take. What you've been putting into your life is what you're getting back. You've been putting in hard work and it's clearly showing around your life or it's about to. And I feel like you just have this natural anxiety when it comes to work. And I also feel like you have an obsessive nature when it comes to work. But it's for paying you. Clarify this for Aries. I feel like someone was trying to scare you, making you think you were going to lose your home or apartment or job and you find out that you never were. I feel like this person puts you in a fear mentality so that you'll work harder. So this is like your boss um, sending someone over to you to say some cryptic things to make you think you're going to get fired if you don't do X, Y, Z, when really you're the hardest worker there and they're trying to milk everything they can out of you. Clarifying the Eight of Swords is the Five of Wands conflict and competition. There is none. So someone could be lying to you saying that so-and-so is trying to compete with you just to get you to, I mean, you and someone else competing at work just drives up productivity and um, income pretty much, revenue. So there's no real competition. You're both working for the company. King of Wands, here you are. Yeah, I feel like you're full of anxiety. It could be another fire sign coming up against you. But yeah, it's like they're trying to make you anxious and make you compete to drive in revenue for their company. There's no threat. Clarifying the devil is the lover, is the choice. Yeah, they just want you to put your all into your job, filling you with fear, addiction, and slavery. That's also Gemini energy with the lovers. 
Knight of Cups. So this could be a lover. I'm thinking about work, but this could be a lover trying to make you feel like um, you have competition. They um, bring other people around you or try to mention other people or show other people or drop hints and be cryptic indirectly, letting you know that there's other um, people to try to make you compete for them and compete for their affection and attention. They want you to be desperate to impress them or desperate to tie them down. And ugh, it's like they want you to try to like chase them or prove yourself to them. Because maybe they were doing that for you and you weren't biting and now they want you to do this back or whatever. It's like, yeah, they want you to be obsessed with them. Clarify. I feel like you guys fight too much. It's not worth it. This person just gives you nothing but anxiety. And their manipulative game player is just a mess. Clarifying the Four of Wands is the Death card, Scorpio. So yeah, something's changing about this dynamic permanently. Ace of Cups. Yeah, you're focused on yourself, self-love and self-worth. Also, you could be dealing with a Scorpio now. That could be a new person, a Scorpio. Clarifying the Ace of Swords is the Ace of Pentacles, a new stable beginning in abundance. And the Eight of Swords, clarifying the Ace of Swords. Overall, energy is the Ten of Swords, the worst part of a situation being over. So again, you have nothing to worry about. I just feel like when it comes to work and love, put it where it goes for you. But I feel like in both, your um, lover and your boss were both manipulating you into thinking you had competition. And you really didn't. This, um, this job, this pay raise, this promotion, whatever this is, this position was always yours. They just wanted you to like fight for them, to drive revenue when it comes to work and to just feed their ego. They, they use fear and anxiety and your obsession with work to drive you. Like I said in the beginning, you want peace right now. You're trying to calm yourself because you have the eight of swords here twice, starting the reading and ending it. And so like, instead of letting you rest and be in peace, they see that you're someone who can just go, go, go. Because Aries, you do have that energy to just go and work. Or just headstrong energy. And so they say things indirectly to mess with your head and make you anxious. To make you act urgently. To be on edge. To make you think you have to fight and compete when you don't. The position, the place, whatever you were fighting for was always yours. And they, they kind of like took advantage of your nature. But we have the Ace of Cups, Ace of Swords, and Ace of Pentacles here. You're going to see the truth. You're going to see the truth in a situation. And with the Six of Pentacles, you're going to get back everything you put into a situation. And I also feel like there's a Capricorn apologizing, giving you love, trying to make things right. But that's up to you what you decide to do with that. I wouldn't go for it. Not them putting you through this. Hell no. But I do see there's a Capricorn at... Um, a Gemini or a Scorpio here. I would say go for the Scorpio. I feel like the Capricorn and the Gemini are both manipulative as hell. All right. I'm going to leave it there. I send you peace, blessings, and love. Namaste.